Yes, yes, yes. Welcome again. There's another episode of the Washington SXM podcast. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and also click the notification bell. You get notified when I upload a new video. So anyway, today there is a quick and snaps this I'm doing today on um, masculinity and femininity. Masculine, the masculine, the masculine, the masculinization of black women and the feminization of men in general. And um. Perfect, perfect example. In all the movies coming out right now, all the scene is women playing masculine roles. Um, roles are used to be used to be reserved for men, and not that a woman cannot play a, um, a masculine role, but now that's all the roles they're giving to women, and they're feminizing all the men. I've noticed in the movies, and why am I using movies as a, as a, as a reference? Because movies is the perception of people who watch movies tend to be, because sometimes they say it's based off a real life event, like for instance, the woman king, they say it's based off real events with this, the woman king, which is impossible because it cannot be a woman king, a woman king is reserved, reserved only for men. So that's, that's, that's an example, and Wakanda movie, remember the, the new Wakanda movie, and um, a couple of other movies out right now, all the Marvel movies, all She-Hulk and Captain Marvel and all these movies are putting in these masculine women in these roles, but yet, for some reason, all these new movies coming out now, and all these women in it, for some reason, all they are, they are all more powerful than the men. Which, again, is kind of hard because I'm not saying a woman cannot be... Let's flip between reality and movie world. In reality, very few women can be more strong than a man. If you take the world strongest woman and put them against the top thousand man in bodybuilding she's not as strong as him so and back in flip back into the movie world now so why are you putting this perception perception out there that women are, are stronger than men and women can beat men and cause i've seen you know you've seen on the internet and in tiktok and all these women attacking men and most of the time the men are holding back because if a man, even though a woman is attacking a man if a man lift his hand or, and uh, give her one, uh, one, just one hit, all of a sudden he's an abuser, he's this, even though no, the woman is an aggressor. You can't even defend yourself now in this, in this new generation. You can't defend yourself as a man when a woman is attacking you. They say, oh, you must hold her. And, uh, but even if you hold her, they still ca can, that's, that is still considered abuse. So. What's the agenda? What's the, what's the, the end goal why they're masculine, um, making women so masculine and feminizing men? Because even now, if you do have a, a, lead role in the, a lead role in a movie right now, it's a gay man, or it's a lesbian woman, or it's a transgender person. They don't find any straight, st only movie, you know, you can't think I can sit down and watch with a strong uh, male character, is maybe John Wick. But all the other movies, them. Um, I've been watching, and I can't even watch movies now with my kids anymore because I remember my kids love to watch movies back in the um, we used to, but now all the movies have gay scenes and um, sexual scenes and kissing and all this. Men, men, men to man, man to man, woman to woman. All these things, and I can't sit, that, I can't sit down and watch it with a child because my kids we don't watch no farmer sexual scenes in a movie. If, if it comes on, we switch a movie. Or with a lip pass and a switch back, but no, you can't. Even though every movie you go on is the same thing, so I, I, I just stop watching movies altogether. Even in cartoons now, they are putting in gay character, gay gay cartoon and lesbian cartoon people. So they are pushing this narrative, and I recently saw they have this book out now, like A for Apple, um, B for Ball, and I think you say um, um, T for transgender. And B for um, I forget, but it's it's all it's a, it's about it's a gay book, and, and the alphabet is now they they, they feminize the alphabet into this gay mantra. Um, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna put the, the link in the description of the name of the book what I'm talking about. You can go check it out for yourself to see that I'm not saying so. They are starting them from young, from kindergarten, from one, two, three years old. They're indoctrinating men, young boys, and young teenage boys and three, three four year old boys that uh, to be gay is cool and to be transgender is cool and telling the girls they can be bi non-binary and all this crap. Just now I think it's best to just take a kid out of a school and homeschool a kid yourself because that's the best way that you can protect a kid. 
because they're attacking kids because they, they don't realize they're losing the battle with, the, with older people so they're starting with them from young and they are and you see they are think they're pushing this agenda again because when they feminize men and, and women take over then it's easier to deal with women that's what i'm thinking they might think it's easier to deal with, deal with a masculine woman over a masculine man because a feminine man will always succumb to a masculine woman so if a masculine a masculine woman can dominate especially black men then we basically do the, do the work for the powers to be you understand because they're already already locking up half the, 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 the black men for simple offenses and the, the white counterparts if is getting a scot free with the same offense for instance for example they will catch one a black person with one giant i don't see more but as an example you can catch a black person with one giant they give him five years you catch a white person with a pound of weed he gets probation so you see they're everybody doing everything now is surrounding this to keep this the the, the especially the black men on a level where they are no more threat to the powers to be so i think that's one of the reasons and they are trying to get our kids so protect your kids be careful what your kids watch on tv now be careful of the books they read because it's all over the books now as well so there's the best thing to do is less tv less internet less social media less tiktok and but the kids go and play as, uh, as how I, I used to do back in the days and that's the best thing for us now for this generation take away their phones especially kids take their phone from them and leave them go back out to the outdoors again and stop come off the internet because the internet is is pushing an agenda now where if you can't sip through it if you can't sip through that right now boy you're gonna be a, you're gonna have a terrible 10 years the next 10 years you're gonna be even more terrible so please have big eye parents be careful where your kids read be careful where your kids watch do not let nobody feminize with your son and let's keep this going anyway you don't know it is back to work time lunch episode so you don't know it is peace one love boom